I am attempting to update my OS on my MPC 4000. <clears throat> I've never done this before. Um, it's validating it right now. There's no videos to show you how to do this. So basically, um, I'm just going to show you what I did. I downloaded. I downloaded the, fu the file, the 1.71. I unzipped it. I got the Ben file. You get that Ben file right there. You take that. I copied it on to this thumb drive right here. I, I didn't use a CD. I copied on that. I put this in. But before you before you put this uh it's, it's uploading right now. Before you put when you give it get a thumb drive, you need to you need to do a full format. A full format. And once you do that, you can load files on it to, to that from your computer. If you don't format it on the MPC 4000, it ain't going to work. So this is what it's saying is my update. So I'm going to see if it's going to, if it's updating. Well, it looks like it's updating. But you must for, do a full, for, don't do a quick format. Do a full format if it's the first time you using a thumb drive for your MPC 4000. I hope I'm making sense. So I'll do another video. I got me another one. And I'll do I'll put up a video to show you how, how I format the drive inside the MPC 4000 before I can put any sounds on this. So the MPC 4000 can read it. So it looks like it's working. It's, uh, at first it was a little discouraging, but there wasn't no videos out there, so I just did the knowledge. And the reason why I'm going to, I have to update it is because I got the eight out. In order for the eight outs to be recognized, I had to update it. So that's what I just did. I didn't want to go install it and had the old operating system. So I said, why not update the new operating system? So it looks like we're still working. We're still loading up been about two minutes now i love the i love the girl right there stomping her feet that is so creative let's see it says upgrading of the flash rom was successful the new operating system will be used the next time you switch on the machine. Please restart your machine now. All right. So I'm going to hit restart. And I'm going to see if it say 1.71. It normally would say, there you go. 1.71. Done. Yes. Let's see if it, ha let's see if it's, uh, it boots up though. Searching for auto load. I don't know what. No, no, okay, okay. All right, let me see if my sounds and stuff is still there. Let me hit load. Yeah, do got my songs and everything. Everything is in the folder. Let me see. Yeah. Everything's still intact. good so now I can go ahead and install the uh, the eight out just got my eight out in for my MPC 4000 I already do a quick little unboxing not made ordered off the of eBay and let's see what we got Right. 
comes with some instructions. Right here. Show you how to put it together. through them real quick got some screws some hardware right here probably gonna be real simple to put together shouldn't take me long all right for the MPC 4000. Got a little ribbon here. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. All right, we got the 8 outs installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and uh, test it out. Make sure it, read, it reads the uh, date out. I'm about ready to go in the studio right now. I'm going to test it out. I'm about ready to test to see if the eight out was installed correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hit global. Hit global. Come over to uh, config. And right there, it says in individual eight individual output board installed. I got the DIF board in there and I got the effects board in there. The only thing I'm missing is the ADAT. So I know that's installed. So let's see if it works now. So I'm gonna hit program. I'm gonna hit program. To sign the individual outs. I, I gotta hit program. I'm gonna hit, this is a kick on this pad here, but I don't hear nothing. I got all my individual outs set on the mixer, right? And then I got the eight, all eight running out from there. All right? Bam. And I got set track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now let's see if we can get track, this track here. I don't hear nothing, right? So I'm going to set that to one. I'm going to set that to one. And we should hear something. So that's good. So now I'm going to come to this pad. This is a snare. Right? I'm going to sign that to two. And see if I get an output on that. So that's a good sign. Then right here, so that's track two. If I turn this down, I shouldn't hear nothing. I turn it up. And same thing with the kick. I turn it down. I don't hear nothing. So this is going to make my mixing game crazy within the mix, the effects inside the, uh, the 4000. So I got the kick. And then I know on this pad is a hi-hat. So it says it right there. Right, hi hat. So let's sign that to three. I'm just testing my individual outs to see if they play. Yup. And then when I want to mix, all I gotta do is just turn down some of the bass on it, bring up the high on it, turn it up a little bit more. Wow. All right. So the next track, this is um. That's nothing, because ain't nothing showing. 
this is an open hi-hat. Let's assign that to four, right? Yeah, four. And just come over here to four. One, two, three, four. And turn that up. And turn some of the bass down. I mean, some of the lows down on that because we don't really want that in there. Turn the trimmy up. So that's four. There's nothing on that pad, nothing on that pad. Right here is a crash, so let's set that to five. On this pad right here, let's set that to five. You gotta go to your output. All right, so we got that, that's three, four, five. Let's take out some of the, all right, the bass on it. Let's turn that up a little bit. And let's turn that up. So, all right, so right here is what? Nothing on this pad. On this pad is a rider. So let's set that output to six. I'm just seeing if the outputs work. All right, let's set that to six. All right, so that's two, four, six. All right. All right, we got, let's put some more highs on that jaw. Turn down some of the bass. Bring up a little bit of mids on that. On both of that, all right? All right, so that's five. Six is good. I need... That's good. What's this? Nothing on there. Nothing on. All right, here's something right here. This is an open hi-hat as well. So let's take that. All right, this is set. This here is set to four. So let's set this to five. This would be five. All right, then we'll set, we'll set we'll set this to six. See, I set this pad here to five. Let's set that crash to six, and then let's set this to seven. That's the rider. So we got. Track seven. Let's turn that up. Let's turn the trim up on that. Turn up the highs. Take that down. And let's turn my bass up. This is going to be my bass on track eight. And I'm going to give it a little boost. All right. So we got the rider, right? Now we need to see one more output work. And that will be on this track. This is a base right here. So let's set that to be right here. That's one and two, but we don't want one and two. We want it on eight only. So all of them work. So as you can see, kick is on one. The first out, snare is on two, this is out, right? I had on three. Open high hat on four. The other open high hat on five. That's the sign of six, the crash. Sign the seven the rider. And then the next bank base is assigned to eight. But I'm gonna come back to here. That's on seven. And my samples is here. So I'm gonna sign them to seven. And then sign this one here.
to seven. And then <laughs> sign that to seven. And then I'm gonna see how the sequence play. All right, let's see what we got. So that's cool. So now I'm just gonna come over and start turning down my faders and see if I can take the the sound. Make sure I know the outputs is working. They, they was already tested as you've seen. Now let's watch to see if they're on the mixer. <laughs> watching man my name is granddaddy frost don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel elevation productions productions with the z peace